Hey, welcome back to Gold Souls. So, spooky season is upon us, and while I was coming up with new content for you guys, I could not think of anything more frightening than party food from the 1970s. So I did some research, put on a brave face, and decided to make and eat the three jello dishes you see here in front of me. Keep watching to see how I made them and how they taste. Okay, so the first thing I decided to make was pink Bavarian cream. I thought it would probably taste good since strawberries and cream is a pretty good combination, so this is how it went. You need frozen strawberries, you need strawberry jello, you need heavy whipping cream. So you wait for these strawberries to thaw out and then you cut them. Here's some ASMR for you guys. Then after that, you strain them to get all of the liquid out. In the meantime, you get your jello mix going with the powder and boiling water. Stir it all together to combine. And then you get the juice from the strawberries, put it in a cup, add some cold water, and stir it together. Then you combine that with the jello mixture and stir it together. Then you let it chill in the fridge. And next, you get your heavy whipping cream and whip it together. Then you get your partially chilled strawberry jello and mix it until it gets frothy, at which point you combine the cream with it and mix it together. And I'm telling you guys, this smelled so good. I could have probably eaten it right then and there. Then you pour it into your mold and put it in the fridge to set. Next, I decided to make a tomato aspic. This one's a little risky. We'll see how it goes. You're gonna need some tomato juice, bay leaves, cloves, peppercorns, salt, and unflavored gelatin. So you start off by boiling the tomato juice with the herbs and spices. Once it comes to a boil, you will add your unflavored gelatin. Oh. That doesn't seem right. After following my dad's sage advice, the gelatin did melt and worked out fine. Then you have to strain it to get all the cloves and peppercorns out, but I actually somehow got a peppercorn in the mix. Who knows? Then you put it into your molds and here's my attempt at a thumbs up. There we go. Last but not least, the celery nut circle. This was scary, but kind of fun to make, honestly. You're gonna need lime jello, salt, vinegar, celery, walnuts, sour cream. Get two packets of lime jello in a bowl, add some salt, and then pour in the boiling water and mix it all together. By the way, I am fully aware of the fact that I'm not giving you guys exact measurements and super explicit instructions. I will be linking the recipes below so you guys can follow them if you so choose. Although, honestly, who else is trying to sit here and make 70s jello? Probably not you. So, don't worry about it. Then add your water and vinegar. Keep stirring that together. Pour part of it into the mold and let that chill. Then I took the remaining jello and added sour cream. I wish that I could give you guys some ASMR on this because it sounded so disgusting. Um, as I added the fruits and the nuts, it started to solidify, which made it sound even more disgusting. And I wish I could show you guys the sound, but I can't because the TV was on. My bad. Anyway, put it on top of your chilled jello mold and just pack it in there. All right, so now is the moment of truth. Can I get this out of the mold in a clean, orderly fashion? Yes. For the most part, we have a peppercorn that made its way in there somehow, and one piece that kind of fell off, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna garnish it with lettuce, and I'm gonna also end up adding some tomatoes and olives. Look at that. Pretty as a picture. Betty Crocker who? Okay, now it's time for the lime circle. It wasn't gonna come out of the mold, so I had to kind of massage it and add a warm towel. Eventually it came out. 
and we are missing a chunk. But that's okay, we'll just put it on there and act like nothing ever happened. Garnishing with lettuce, celery, walnuts, and some pineapple pieces. Oh my gosh, the pink Bavarian. She can't do any wrong. Was a little off-centered, but that's okay. It gave me room to add some cute garnish in the front. I put whipped cream in the center and all along the top and the front. And then I added some strawberries. Isn't she cute? This one, I think, was obviously the prettiest and I'm the most proud of it, so. Gotta give you guys the close-up glamour shots. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. Now it's time to eat it. Okay, so I basically chose these based on a scale of like what I think tastes good to what is probably nasty. So the strawberry, pink Bavarian cream, I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste really good. The tomato aspect is the middle ground here because I feel like it's probably gonna be weird, but I like tomato juice, so it might be okay. And then the celery nut circle, I'm scared. I'm really scared, y'all. Let's start with what I think is gonna taste good. Let's do the pink Bavarian and see how that goes. Oops. Oh, it's actually really good. It tastes like really fluffy strawberry ice cream, actually. The texture is really not an issue. I'm a fan. That's really good. This one was the one I was looking forward to the most, so I'm glad it turned out well. What's nice about this too is that it it's actually feels really light, so it doesn't feel like you're eating a heavy dessert, which is probably why it was really popular back then. Okay, so Bavarian cream is a success. It is very good. Five stars, 100% recommend. Yeah, can't complain. I'm definitely gonna pass this around to the rest of my family. They're gonna love it. Okay, now it's time for the tomato aspect. It's gonna be weird. It'll be weird. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, it's like you're eating tomato juice, which to some people, might sound really disgusting, but to me it's not that bad. I'm gonna give this like a 7 out of 10 because it's not bad, it's just like, it's not as good as this. Whew, okay y'all. <sighs> it's time for the celery nut circle and I'm scared. I am so scared, you guys don't even know. If anything, I know my parents will eat this because when I told my mom about it, she was like, oh yeah, I remember people made that or I remember my mom made stuff like that back in the day, that sounds good. I was like, are you sure? Let's give it a go, guys. I'm so nervous. I hope y'all heard that. I really do. This is the one I was like so nervous about, but I really wanted to make it because it was super authentic to the time period. And it does look really cool. The things I do for y'all. Remember this. Okay. When I first took a bite, I'm not gonna lie, I felt like the beginnings of my gag reflex. As I kept going, it got a little bit better, but I'm gonna have to say I don't love it. I don't love this. It's weird. Definitely making sure my mom and dad eat this. It's not as bad as I thought, but it is definitely weird. The variety of textures at work here are kind of stressing me out. You're eating jello and then all of a sudden there's a walnut. Those two things should probably never happen. But I give I give the people of the early 70s props because they were, do I? No, I was trying to be nice. What were y'all thinking? This was called a jello salad. Those two words should never ever meet again. And it's clear to see why we left these in the past. So luckily I made this and ate it so you don't have to. Isn't that great? I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. I thought I was gonna give this like a one. I thought this was gonna be really bad and it's not that bad. It's just too, it's a little too odd for you girl. But you know what? To each their own or Charlize their own as I like to say. Maybe someone out there would enjoy it and I'm positive my parents will like this. So I'm gonna probably pass this on to them. All right, now it's time for me to pass these on to the rest of my family and see what they think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment below if you've ever tried a jello dish like this before. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And while you're at it, follow Gold Souls on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you in the next video.